We'll begin with Cheryl Ray Stout of WBEZ. Cheryl, please go ahead. Thank you. Congratulations, James. Thank you. When you look at this game as a whole, holding uh, Washington to 56 points in your offensive transition baskets seemed to be what was really important in this win. Uh, yeah, I, 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 we, we, you know, we talked about defensive mindset. And so that's how we were gauging uh, our play. Uh, of course, we, we wish offensively we could find a little bit more fluidity in, in what we do and, and actually executing a little bit better as far as getting out on the breaks and stuff like that. But uh, I think that's going to come with time. But the sense of urgency to the defensive side of the ball is probably something that we're going to keep on paying attention to and just trying to build from that. Of course, the big story is going to be Candace Parker and her impact, especially right away in this game. Yeah, I mean, she gives us a lot, you know, with the three blocks and defensively and offensively being able to play make from from a big uh, point of view. So, you know, she should be the story. She's she's a she's a great player and has been great in this league for a long time. So um, we're just going to keep on just keep on trucking along. Thank you. Next question will be from Annie Costable with the Chicago Sun-Times. Annie, please go ahead. I honestly want to know, have we seen Kalia Copper's ceiling here? I mean, she put up 19 points, and I think when you see the combination of her and Candace, and it just you know makes me wonder what she's capable of playing alongside of a player like this. Uh, she's capable of a lot. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if we've seen her ceiling. Like, she's still a young player in this league. Um, but, you know, she works hard. She's a great teammate. And um, we're just going to encourage her to keep on, you know, finding new heights for ourselves. Uh, the coaches do a good job of working with her on her shot, on her different reads. And uh, she's been very receptive to it. So um, I just appreciate seeing her, uh, getting her just due, and, and everybody else see, is seeing and recognizing what we have. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all finished with 14 turnovers. What do you attribute those to? Was it nerves or, um, you know, what, what can you say about the turnovers and how you get those in check? I think it's a lot, a lot of it has to do with not, not only just first game jitters, but the, the newness of, of everyone and knowing where everybody is. I think we made a couple, like you, you people don't realize how fast we are until you actually put them together you know and to see diamond and Kai get on breaks and i think we sometimes we misread it and just threw it out of bounds sometimes because it's like wow we had layups right there and um i think it's just you know getting our cohesion and our chemistry and stuff like that so um i, I think it'll be clean uh a little bit later cleaner a little bit later but uh, we'll 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 watch it and, and we'll fix it and we'll work on it and then lastly, for me, there were so many hustle plays out there from this guy. And that's something you can't really teach. It just comes from a player's, you know, from their desire to, to put that out there. So where does that heart come from within this team and, and specific players? Like Ali Quigley got one rebound that kept the play alive in the second quarter. And so I just wonder if you could speak to, um, yeah, the hustle plays from your team and, and where that heart comes from. Uh, it's there. I think it's there in everybody. Uh, it's just what what details you pay attention to. And so we've put details in and we've focused on the little things that we could do better as far as taking us to another level. And those things feed into our energy of where we need to go. Uh, so it's, it's just about those details that we pay attention to and, and, and they start to pay attention to it and and they prioritize it after. Awesome. Thanks. Next question will be from Deontay Prince with the Chicago Tribune. Deontay, please go ahead. Uh, thank you. Um, Coach, you kind of mentioned this a little bit with the fluidity of the offense, and it, it seemed like the best results kind of came in that, that second quarter where everyone was touching the ball and a lot of free looks came out of that. How important was it to kind of get a little bit of that, that preview of what the offense looks like when everyone is clicking and, and kind of use that going forward? Uh, for right now, it's, it's about us, you know, being able to get stops. And if we get stops, you'll see us flow a little bit better. Um, the fact that we weren't able to score as cleanly, I think, um, our defense allowed us to to get more stops and allowed the ball to zip and to move, and uh, you were able to see some easy baskets and some and and see our offense kind of work together. Uh, so that, I mean, that's you know, the def it starts with the defense. It just starts with the defense. Got it. And I'll I'll ask one more. Um, I know for for Candace, a lot of this was about 
um, being able to be back home and obviously his first game is on the road. Um, how much excitement do you think she has going into that? And, and how much does the team look forward to having their first game at home with this, this new look? I mean, we look forward to it, but we, we have another game on the road that we have to focus on first. Um, we'll, we'll think about that when that time comes, but right now it's, you know, it's, it's next, next team up and we have to, another game on the road. So it's going to be exciting when the time gets here, but, uh, just to be in a Chicago sky uniform and to be representing Chicago, I think it's, uh, at an all time high. And, um, once we get to that first home game, then, you know, we'll, 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 we'll try to get the jitters out then. Thank you. We'll do one more question for Coach Wade with Dorothy Gentry of the New York Times. Dorothy, please go ahead. Hi, Coach. Thanks for your time. From, from your vantage port, point, how was this team able to come together after one week of training camp, create the chemistry and the production needed to pull off this win? Uh, I mean, the players had buy-in, and it's something that they wanted to do together. So, um, you, you, you know, the training camp has been – uh, training camp has been interesting uh, for the simple fact that of probate co protocols and you have to uh, sit out six days or, or get three tests or whatever you have to do, depending on the person. Uh, so everybody has just been bought in and locked into, you know, how to make the team better. And so when we get players that come in late, uh, they just jump on board because the energy that has, you know, already been set as a president has, uh, has been there. And so, it's, it's been easier and, and, and easy to adapt and, and having four players, having four vet players um, who, you know, kind of got us going uh, at the beginning of training camp and having them there from the beginning, uh, it's, it's kind of been a, 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 a even flow, you know, uh, so it's, it's been, uh, it's been pretty, you know, good, uh, but, you know, it can always be better. Uh, we would love to have everybody here on time, but uh, that's just not possible. So we deal with it and, and having the vets that we have uh, helped us get through it and uh, they're going to help bring the other vets along. And lastly, do you have I'm concerns? I'm sorry, Dorothy. We, we, have, we, have, Dorothy, we have to cut oh. you off to get Candace Parker on, and the team has a flight to okay. catch. So thank I'm, you, not that, I'm not that important. Thanks. And, you know, I, I, we have a flight, unfortunately. Uh, no charter flights here. So <laughs> let's see how that goes. Everybody be safe. <laughs> I can take my mask off there. Hi, Candace. Thank you for joining us. If you have a question for Candace Parker, please raise your hand. We'll begin with Jack Maloney of CBS Sports. Jack, please go ahead. Uh, hey, Candace. Uh, on the broadcast, they were showing a, a bunch of clips of you mic'd up um, and just talking, communicating on the defensive end. Just how important is that for you to just kind of keep everyone on the same page and you know bring that communication as, as well as your, your actual ability on the defensive end? You know, I think it's um, interesting because, um, you know, I know from playing against Chicago how difficult they are to defend offensively. Like in the half court, I mean, transition is ridiculous. Um, but playing against them offensively wasn't always that difficult. And I think they realized that, I realized that, and um, I think we all are making a concerted effort to be better. And I think that starts with obviously communication. It starts with knowing the scheme but it also starts with doing it. And, um, you know, I think it's just sticking to it and, you know, I'm gonna communicate. And, you know, I think that everybody is receptive. They're communicating with me. And, um, you know, I think together we can, we can continue to build defensively. Next question will be from Deontay Prince of the Chicago Tribune. Deontay, please go ahead. All right, Candace, I just wanted to ask uh, one quick question. Um, what, what did it feel like to finally get out there after going through, um, you know, training camp and then, you know, obviously making a tough decision to come back home and play in Chicago? Um, what was that that initial moment like and how did it feel just being out there with your teammates? Man, it felt like normal. Um, I think I love the game of basketball. And, um, you know, especially when I was younger, it doesn't matter – where it was being played, where the ball was going to be bounced, I feel home. I feel at home on the court, and then to actually be in your home jersey, feeling at home on a court with players that you played against, you've grown up playing with. I mean, Ali Quigley and I have played together since we were in high school, or played against each other since we were in high school, and so 
you know, it was just, it was joy, but at the same time, you kind of get lost in the game. Um, you know, the same, the people that are wearing the same Jersey that you're wearing, those are your teammates. And, you know, that's what it felt like out there tonight. It felt like, you know, um, it felt like home. It really did. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next question will be from Annie Costco with the Chicago Sun-Times. Annie, please go ahead. Candice, I wonder what you think Kalia Copper is capable of playing alongside, you know, as part of this, this team. She finished with 19 points, and I just don't feel that any of us have really seen her ceiling. So what can you say you think she's capable of? Well, first, I hope we don't lose her to the Olympics with the 400 or the 100 or 200 because she's one of the fastest players I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> And I've usually been on the other side of trying to guard it. And so you can talk about guarding her in transition, but it's different when you get out there and you feel it. Um, athletically, for her to be that guard that comes back, she's that rebounding guard that comes back and is able to get those boards. Uh, she can get downhill, but you can't just give her the jump shot because she can shoot as well. So it's been fun learning her in training camp, and it's, it's definitely more fun for me to be on her team. And then turnovers-wise, uh, the team finished with 14. How do you guys clean that up? I think a lot of it is just playing together, you know, knowing each other's tendencies, being stronger with the ball. Uh, a lot of times they were coming through on, deep, on you know, dribble handoffs. Uh -huh. But I think it's also, you know, being smarter. We got to be stronger with the ball um, and not determine what we're going to do before the play happens. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll do two more questions for Candace Parker. First from Cheryl Ray Stout with WBEZ. Cheryl, please go ahead. Hi, Candace. Congratulations on this first win with the Sky. Besides your communication on defense, you physically show leadership the way you take a charge, the way you, you know, you, you, you battle like that. How much will that help the team understand what you bring to them on defense? Well, first, I mean, I think rookie first five years, first 10 years, even in the league, if you would have said Candace is coming to the team and she's going to bring defense, I think everybody would have probably gasped and laughed. Um, so I think it, for me, it's funny <laughs> to see now people are like, whoa, you're going to bring defense to the Chicago sky. Um, and I take pride in that. You know, I think I want to be the one that comes over and makes plays. And it doesn't necessarily just have to be on the offensive end. I want to make plays on the defensive end. I want to make things tough. And I think we're so long, we're so athletic, and we have that high basketball IQ. So why can't we play um, great offense, but also great defense? And, you know, we have goals. And a lot of times coming into those, those games, the preseason games, and then this game, we have goals defensively. And from what I've heard, that hasn't been the case in years past. And so I just want to be the one that holds our team accountable, but then I have to go out there and I have to do it as well. And I'm very vocal. Um, <clears throat> and I think that it's beneficial because we have people that are on our team and that are vocal, but then we also have people that just put their heads down and just do it. And, um, you know, I think we are capable of being a, a, a top defensive team. And this how fun was it to use your defense to uh, spark the transition offense? That's what's crazy is it makes it easier. You know, I was talking to Diamond. I'm like, when we defend, we get out and do what we want. So why wouldn't we want to commit to that? Um, coming at you, you know, I, I, I use, you know, a lot of teams that are great in the, in the transition phase, which have players that can make plays. If you get stops on this end and you rebound the ball, you can get out and run and do what you do best. And I think that that's, um, that's something that we can do. And that's something that can make it more fun for us. Thanks. Final question for Candace will be from Chris Pennant with the next. Chris, please go ahead. Good afternoon, Candace. I know you've spoken about the defense and um, especially with things were really clicking in the second quarter. Um, last year, this guy had some trouble in the second half, um, holding on to leads, and the third quarter was particularly difficult to um, um, both defensively and offensively. Was there something different in, in how Washington came out of the break, or were things just um, out of sync from where they were in the first half? I myself will take responsibility for that. Um, we can't let up. It doesn't matter what the score is. We say all these goals that we have. Um, and, you know, in a different situation, different time, that could cost us the game. You know, we always talk about 
you don't know the moment you're going to win a championship or the moment that you're doing something that makes it so that you can win a championship. And you don't know the moment in a game that's going to really turn it around and give momentum because basketball is a game of momentum. So in the third quarter, we got to figure it out. We got to, we got to figure it out. We got to come out and with the same type of energy and effort um, that we had in that second quarter. All right. Thank you very much, Candice. We apologize that we were not able to extend this longer, but the team has a flight to catch. So thank you for your time. We'll send out post post game notes and quotes shortly. Thank you. Hey, hey, I'm